Hey friends, so Ableton 11 is coming out in less than a week, and for those of you that are going to take the plunge, I've got a free gift for you if you tune into my channel on February 23rd, the day it comes out. But for the rest of us, anybody that's using Ableton can take advantage of what I'm about to show you, which is how to add rhythm or movement to your static sounds using a method called trance gating or rhythm gating. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so I've got this long pad idea that I recorded from a hardware synth, and it sounds like this. And I like the way it sounds, it's cool, but what I want to do is I want to show you how I can add movement and rhythm to this. So I think that a lot of people, when they're just using Ableton to make these kinds of gates, will go into their clip automation, that's what this is, right? And they'll choose from this drop-down menu, clip, and then they'll choose clip gain, right? And then they'll zoom in here, and they'll just make a gate, right? And it'll sound something like this. But what I want to show you is something a lot better than this, okay? But what I want to do is I want to grab a utility plugin and drag it onto this pad sound, right? Now, if I click on gain, click on it, just click on it once, and then I double click on the clip. If I'm in my envelope window or automation, clip automation window, we can see utility and gain is selected. Now with any control on any effect that's living inside of a track, all you gotta do is click on it. So if I click on width, double click on the clip, you can see stereo width is selected. I think this is just easier than, you know, hunting on lists for things. So I'm gonna go back to the track, click on gain, double click on the clip. So now if I zoom in a little bit, you can see there's this line right here. Now, when I think it was Ableton 9 came out, Utility used to only have 36 dB of range, but they retooled it so that now if you turn Utility all the way down, it's, it's negative infinity, meaning it's, it's totally silent. So we can take advantage of that by making gates. So I'll hit B to turn on my pencil tool, and I'll just make a gate going on. Just a rhythmic gate, not really sure how it's gonna turn out. I'm just gonna do this. Cool, so now I've made this little rhythm, right? And what I can do is, I'm not copying anything of, of the audio if I just select in this area. If I'm in this tab, I can just select this area of time, right? And then of course I can just hit Command D, and that will duplicate this gate, okay? So I'm just gonna, for now, I guess we'll just loop this clip until bar five, and let's take a listen. So this would be a simple way to create a gate. And now remember that this is clip automation. So this automation that I've created here is locked into this clip. So when I play this one, it's just totally legato, right? But let's take this a step further. I'm gonna group this utility, okay? And now this utility has its own chain, right? I'm gonna grab another utility and drag it into a new chain. All right, so I'll go ahead and mute this one. And on this utility, I'll click on gain, double click on the clip, and now we see we have another fresh automation lane. So I'm gonna make another different rhythm for this one. <laughs> All right, so that's that one, and I'll go ahead and duplicate this time, right? Now, I'll double click on the clip. These are living in two different chains. So if I turn them both on, we get. And what I can do is I can pan them slightly. Maybe we'll do 25 aside or something. And let's get let's give this a listen. Oh yeah. super rad. Now the cool thing is that this automation isn't limited to just on or off, you know? You can get in here and really make some of these different, right? You can make accents by pulling it up, you can make it softer by pulling it down, and you just get this movement going that just makes a static sound just so much more fun to listen to. Right? 
So now I want to show you something else. At this point, this is static, is pretty much on or off. Like if I play this clip, it's straight up. If I play this one, we got our gates. But if I right click on this and I group this group, <laughs> groupception here, and I click on chain, what I can do is I can create another chain, okay? And then click on chain right here. And what this will do is it'll show us this chain ruler, right? This long thing here. So if I drag both of these out, what I can do is I can say that this chain selector will select between these two chains, right? At this point, no matter where I put the chain selector, both chains will play. But there's this little tiny bar above here. Do you see this little tiny bar? If I grab this little tiny bar and pull it back and then do the same thing but the opposite way on this side, I've now created myself a dry wet controller for the transgate. So at this side, it's gated. At this side, it's not. Okay, so if I look at my macros, what I can do is I can map this entire bar, right? See this bar right here? I'll click map, turns green. Anything that turns green, you can map. So I'll click on this map and I'll map it to this first control, right? Now I've got a little dry wet slider. So I can go into my clip now, right? And I can just map this thing, chain selector, see that? Now I can say that all the way down is gated, all the way up is clean. Let's do something like this and see what happens. I'll just duplicate this. I think that this would actually sound better if it was longer and only at the end. Let's take a listen now. See how that's like a dynamic tool? Awesome. And real quick, I just wanna drop in and say that I am really thankful for the support this channel has received, and I'm really thankful for how well my course launches have gone. If you're struggling with Ableton Live and you wanna learn more and you wanna get really good at this stuff, but you enjoy my teaching style, I offer Ableton Live online training via courses and a Discord community that you can join. And if you wanna learn more about that, uh, check this link out up here in the corner or in the description or in the comments, and you can learn more about that. All right, anyway, let's get back to it. So yeah, that, that's the first way to create these, these gates with clip automation. But what I wanna show you now is let's say we want this song to have a little bit more pizzazz. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a groove for the drums. So I'll stop the, the clip here and I'll click on this clip and we're gonna take a look at the grooves. So I click on grooves. Let's say I want a 16th swing, 16ths. <laughs> that's what we were looking for. So I also wanna play the second loop, the one with the, with the hats in it. So at this point, super robotic beat. But if I choose this groove that I just dragged in here, let's take a listen now. Awesome. So if I play this groove along with this straight up transgate, take a listen. Hear how the rhythms don't go together? Because the transgates are straight, right? They're just, if I look at the if I look at the gain, we can see that these are straight. These are on the 16th, right? But <laughs> this drum beat is swung. So what can we do? Well, check this out. So I've got this other drum rack here and I've got this percussion sound in it. And it sounds like this. Now this percussion rack, it's straight. But if I choose the groove that I've chosen, so here's this rhythm with this groove applied over it, and it sounds like this. Now it's got a groove to it. Here are they locked together now that the groove's in there. So what our options are now is that instead of doing clip automation, we could go ahead and instead grab an Ableton gate. And gate, of course, has an awesome feature with side chaining. So I can choose side chain, and I'll choose input, as that three drum rack, that little gut, 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 and I can turn it off, right? So now the gate is gonna be triggered by this rhythm, and we're gonna get transgating, or rhythmic gating, that has the groove applied to it, right? So take a listen now. I have to turn the threshold down until it hits, right?
And so, of course, you've got all kinds of options here. You can turn the attack up and get some different sounds. You can turn the release up to get more release. You can turn the hold down so that it's just release, right? And of course, floor now becomes your dry wet control because floor, this is how much the gate is turning the signal down, right? And of course, all this can be automated. So I'll go to my release and I'll make it super low and maybe bring it up every two, like this. And maybe I'll pull some of these down just for the heck of it. And you can hear that little sound in the background. Well, that's the floor. So what we can do with the floor is I can turn it all the way down and maybe get in here and open it up halfway through or something. Now the advantage of this is that I can go into this track and I can change it, right? I can, I duplicated it and maybe I can drag a couple of these around and I can get maybe some different sounds going, right? And I'm not locked to that track automation like I had in this track. I have now full control from over here. So this is controlling my gates. right? Movement for days. So of course, you can do the same thing here. You can get onto this track and you can say, all right, I'm going to group this. And that's chain one. And then of course, I can make a new chain by dragging a gate into here. I can duplicate this track and just switch up the rhythm, right? So maybe I'll just drag this over one. <laughs> and I'll drag a couple of these around. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 and then this is now going to feed the second gate. So four is going to feed this gate. Choose track four. And same stuff. So on this track, maybe I'll pan it. Maybe I'll pan it. And let's play it. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, this is what I do. If you like this kind of thing, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.